Shit, was I not recording that whole time? Damn it. So you can't see it, but I can with my sunglasses on. Right here, you can see the line. Drops off and then it's about immediately four or five feet deep. Then the farther you get out, it's about 20 feet deep. And during the summer, when everyone's out here partying and having a good time, the crazy folks, like my old self, would run and dive off that corner or just run and jump. Let's climb the top of that rock. I'm gonna take my time though. Man, I can't believe I wasted <laughs> You know, I was making some really good points and I was thinking to myself, oh, this has gone extremely well. I'm talking smoothly, bringing up good points. And of course I wasn't recording, like a dummy. Anyhow, so if you want to come down the bottom, there's one trail that reaches right to the water. Now this is the trail that goes to the top of the rock. Gorgeous. All right, here we are at the top. More beautiful green ferns, as always. Never a shortage of those around here. You know, we're surrounded by amazing things. We always forget what's around us that are out our back door. You know, the simple beauty, the simple peace of just a stream. Just like most people, I have those moments <laughs> where I get really frustrated, really stressed out, or, you know, just have bad days, bad weeks, you know? And, uh, you know, if you have a spot where you can kind of escape from town, and I say that right as a, you know, loud car is going by, but, you know, find a quiet place, escape from your town, go to the woods near your town, and just focus on what's around you. Take a deep breath and just appreciate beauty. I mean, hell, today was kind of a rough day for me. It was kind of stressful, so it's, you know, it's nice to come out to a spa like this and just, just have some moments of silence and to just relax. Just try to empty the mind and just focus on what's in front of you, you know? Easier said than done, right? I get that. You know, I can hardly turn off my brain at night, but that's what the motorcycle's for. That, uh, <laughs> that helps that helps quiet the mind, you know? Why are you wearing your sunglasses when it's not bright out, Ty? Come on now. Butt shot. Here I go again on my own Going down the only road I've ever known I know I can't sing, but why not? I'll try. is the bridge that's right next to Turtle Rock. Turtle Rock is on that side and then Crack Rock is on that side. Why do they call it Crack Rock? Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe folks used to smoke crack there. That side's Crack Rock. Now, the swimming hole is kind of around the corner. Uh, yeah, you can't really see it, but um, I mean, that's a portion of it. And then this side, next to the motorcycle, motorcycle is the regular bridge. And then, well, I guess you can't see it. There's the base of Turtle Rock right down there. Look at the solid architecture of this thing, though. You know, these covered bridges are really popular in this area in Lane County. And people travel from all over just to see these bridges. And to me, it's just, you know, it's just, again, in my backyard. These have always been here. It's just part of my everyday normal life. Be cleaner right now. All right, we checked out the bridge. Scan the whole thing, I think, for the most part. So uh, let's keep moving.
Now, I wasn't planning on stopping by the dam, but why not? We got a few minutes of light. All right, so here's Drina Dam, monitored and controlled by the Army Corps of Engineers, which I used to work for for uh, a couple years. It's actually a great job. I was a student at the time, and they only could hire veterans, which is a good thing. I'm glad they do that anyhow. This is Drina Dam, at least the top of it. Great place to go walking towards the end of the day on a nice, warm, October afternoon. Very beautiful. It's nice living in a place where you have the option to escape, or at least you have some beautiful places they can just go out to and just get away. Today's world, especially, everything's so fing crazy. <laughs> I always hesitate to say on YouTube, but you need to be able to escape. You need to be able to get away. And, you know, those of us who are lucky that live in beautiful areas like this, you know, there are a lot of little places to escape. So it's a blessing, you know, it's good. Oh yeah, I need to smile when I walk instead of that angry face that I have all the time. <laughs> I really need to learn how to fix that. I don't know what it is. I just always look so pissed off when I'm just doing my everyday thing, you know? It's my ordinary walk. I look like I'm angry. <sighs> Man, I gotta work on that neutral face of mine. But it's all good, it's all good. I swear I'm nice, I am. <laughs> oh man, oh man. So we started right across over the, well, over there. <laughs> Let me get the angle right. Start right there. We looped around the whole lake. Now we're just coming back around. The east side of the lake was where the bridge was at, where the swimming holes were at. And uh, you could continue on and go out towards um, Distin. And Distin's this little tiny town. It actually has a post office, but I swear only like 15 people live there. There's a few little cottages and a couple like mid-sized homes, uh, you know, manufactured homes out there and stuff. You know, and half these people commute out to Eugene, which it's gotta be a pain in the ass to do every day. You gotta commute 45 minutes to an hour just to get to your job, so two hours driving, you'd say. Hell with that. All right, but here's dear old Dorena. Spent a lot of time out here. That silence is golden. It's nice. On the road again. Going there, on the road again. I wish I knew the words, but I don't, and stuff. Time to get on the road again. Stuff and things, things and stuff, and stuff and things. Hello, random guy. 